All right, back with Ricky, Ricky Lopez. Great amateur boxer, now pro professional. Yeah, you, you're telling me about uh, will uh, Andy Ruiz have a trilogy with um, Anthony Joshua. You know what? Yeah. What it looks like, anything is possible, especially when the sport of boxing is, the you know, what we are facing at this moment. So any fight is possible. Even a, I think a 50-year-old guy come back afterwards and, and make a, you know, uh, give us an entertainment fight, it will happen because the situation is not good, you know? Yeah, what what does it make you feel, man? I really don't know. It's, it, it's kind of scary, you know what I mean? Because you just don't know what. Well, you know, you know, as I see you, all of you guys are people of faith. You know, uh, it makes me feel that we're not we're not in control. Is God is the best of planners? You know what I'm saying? Always, bro. God, of course, always. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just crazy what they're coming up with. I I really don't know. I really don't know, bro. Like it's it's just kind of crazy. Yeah. I just understand how China affected the whole world. Mm. Was it planned? Was it planned, or was it a mistake, or who knows? I read a lot of things. It was it was it was planned. It, it, it's a it's a it's a lab created virus and you know, all kinds of other bullcrap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's crazy how the Simpsons predicted all this stuff years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah, in the cartoon. Yeah, did you see that when they predicted the coronavirus? I seen that. I seen that. Yeah, I seen that. Also, crazy, Donald Trump being the president as well. Yeah, they predicted everything, bro. Well, what I heard that the the creator of uh, the Simpson, he he's like. Um, you know, part of some special organization or something like that, you know? I'm like, I'm like, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a time machine, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, what is, like, it's crazy. Or, 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 or like, is he part of, like, the, uh, the elite, like, and they're mocking us, like, they're trying to shit throw it in our face, like, you know what I mean? Like, what's going to happen? Yes, yes. Let me ask you a question. Uh, what, what do you call um, growing up with Danny Garcia? Uh, did, did you know that he's going to be who he is today? Yeah, because Danny's always been a good fighter. You know, I've seen him beat a lot of the top fighters in the amateur. He beat, you know, he, you know, he had, he had, uh, he fought Terrence Crawford a few times. He fought Javier Molina. He fought, a, he fought and beat a lot, a lot of top, uh, top amateurs. So um, he won a lot of nationals, and um, he was just a big alternate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, I always knew Danny was to be a, a tough, good fighter. Cause Danny, he could fight. Yes, yes. I, I wish I could see that fight with Danny Garcia and Terrence Crawford in the amateurs. They fought twice, bro. Wow. So I know, I know, da I know Danny beat him once, but the second one, what happened? Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm cool with Terrence, but, you know, the second fight, it could have went either way. But, yeah, yeah, they went one-on-one. See, Terrence is a really nice uh, nice guy also. Yeah, Terrence is really good people. I, I, I would really want um, Danny Garcia to fight in um, Saudi Arabia against uh, Manny Pacquiao. That, that, would, that would be just amazing, man. Because uh, what I've heard that Manny Pacquiao was supposed to fight here in the summer... So if that happens, man, I'm gonna try my best to put this word out. Yeah, that'd be lovely, bro. Cause I need to fight for I need to fight for the title here soon, bro. 
And uh, I'm going to also do my best to put the word out for you, see what I can do, you know? I appreciate that, brother. I love I appreciate that. G give a shout out to Ellie, man. Ali Sekbeck? Yeah. What's up, Ali? Shout out to my man, Ali Sekbeck. Remember, um, I did like, one of his first interviews a long time ago. Yeah. The Golden Boy. When Victor was fighting, I think Madonna. But yeah, I, I did one of his first uh, uh, interviews. Good uh, people, bro. Very nice guy, man. Very respectful, you know. Very. Yeah, uh, he's all about unity, man. Yeah, he is. He's a, he's a good guy. Good guy, yeah. Well, you know what? Um, I'm not going to keep you too long, man. I know you've got things to do. Um, what do you call it? You know, myself as a boxing coach, uh, you know, I'm trying to do like a 40 minutes session Mondays and Wednesday on Instagram just to motivate people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's but cool, bro. yeah, what, what's going on with you in uh, training? Um, I'm just, you know, I, I just do 500, 500 to 1,000 push a day. I'm just doing 1,000 sit-ups a day. I'm shadow boxing. I, I hit the mitts three times a week, and that's about it, bro. Yeah. All the gyms are closed. I have my father come over here and help me, you know, uh, walk over to his house and hold the mitts for me a little bit when he can. Okay. That's about it, bro. But I do push the out every day, and I shadow box. Okay, okay. Well, bro, you know, anytime, uh, give me a shot. We'll, we'll, we'll speak soon, huh? Sounds good, brother. Okay, my brother. You, t you take care, huh? Okay, you too, brother.